tutorial I am going to discuss on one of the most catastrophic diseases the world has never seen. This is what is called cervical cancer. So cervical cancer is basically caused by HPV which is human papilloma virus. So this is a case presentation that I scanned in our radiology department and as you can see they say that the beauty of the eating is actually in the pudding but I do say that the beauty of ultrasound scan is on Doppler ultrasound interrogation this is why I say so so if you see this you can actually see here is hyperperfusion. This is our bulky uterus, as you are seeing, and then this is part of the cervix. Here, you cannot actually distinct the two because everything seems to have swollen. So, when we have got a cancerous or a malignant process taking place we do have got an overgrowth of blood vessels in the dilation of the blood vessels a process that is termed neovascularization so you can see that this uh, uterus and the cervix is actually undergoing neovascularization as exemplified by the blood flow that you are seeing here that is exaggerated this is chaotic flow that is taking place and is an indicator of a malignant or a cancerous process so the same you can see uh, the beauty of Doppler ultrasound without Doppler ultrasound we might have missed uh, the presenting case of cervical cancer as it were you can actually see the same uh, video you can actually see increasing uh, the the power gain or the color gain you can actually see that the diffusion is also getting more chaotic and more intense you can actually see this flow that you are seeing here this is typical or is typifying a malignant process or malignant transformation so if I play it this way, you can actually see that this is our cervix and you can see that uh, it's bulging here uh, and it's growing big here. What we have here is a bulk uterus and we do have got a small hematometria that is presenting here. This is blood accumulation probably due to the blockage by the lesion or the growth that is taking place in the cervix so you can actually see the merits of a transvaginal scan we can actually outline the um, uterus and you can see that there's a lesion or there's a mass there's a growth here this is characteristic of invasion so this cancer is actually spreading uh, beyond the cervix and you can actually see that the uh, the myometrium is actually bulk and very much irregular, uh, heterogeneous. This is what is called metastatic invasion. So hematometria or is can also happen as a complication of CA cervix. But you can see that the adnexa is a little bit spared. The right adnexa and our left adnexa is a little bit spared but the invasion is actually taking place and is very much evident doing this way again you can actually see that the mass this one is uh, actually very big here and is protruding and uh, here is actually invading the surrounding so doing this way again you can see uh, the bulkness uh, of a uterus our hematometria presenting here just like that and you can actually see uh, the surrounding uh, region or the adnexia uh, looks okay. 
so uh, this type of cancer is actually spread or it is metastasized to the liver as you are seeing upon ultrasound scan there were no paraiotic or abdominal lymph nodes that were noted meaning to say the spread could have been hematogenous it was not spread via the lymphatic system because if the cancer spread via the lymphatic system there is a tendency that it leaves with it um, malignant nodes as it goes so what we are seeing here is basically what is called the target sign you can see the target sign here these are actually nodes are in the liver these are metastatic nodes so this is also what you call the hollow side and here what you're seeing here you can actually see that the uh, common uh, bio duct is actually a uh, dilated it actually measured 0 0.4 centimeters so this is a case scenario of a cancer that is actually spread or metastasized to the liver from the cervix however the other organs like the spleen and the kidneys and the pancreas were spared in the process so using a different scale we can actually see the same um, target sign uh, the hollow sign this is actually consistent with metastasis to the liver of the cervical cancer so this is advanced cancer and it goes beyond redemption in which case a uh, hysterectomy uh, doesn't now apply or it's no longer of any use it can actually exacerbate or actually worsen the situation so you can actually appreciate the lesions so it is very very critical when you see that uh, there is uh, signs or there are signs of uh, malignancy or, or a cancer process when are doing an ultrasound scan to then do a generous ultrasound scan of the whole body to assess regions affected by metastasis or vice versa if you start to scan the liver and you don't see the primary lesion it's very critical for you to hunt thoroughly for the primary lesion of which in our case the lesion was actually found in the cervix so the cervix was the culprit and it has caused all the damage all the way here okay so i thank you all i hope you are learning i hope you are also enjoying our tutorial our free tutorials don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we will keep you posted as we go thank you so much be blessed